Sammy had men all lose? over the place. And one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day mm. of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. Is this the meme? The robbery they, they of the explain to us what's going on. timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. Black. See? One week before we did the mission. The the bank. He just got out of Vietnam. Oh. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't they don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. The nicest white guy we're ever gonna meet. I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Me as how this is the first time in four years and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> Mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. Oh, yeah. Just like I left her. <laughs> man, even I know not to fuck around with your car. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. After a beer. Mm. Do not drink and drive, folks. Okay, I know. I know. We're gonna go all the way here. So Sammy's doing all right? Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? I'm trying not to crash because the police are right there looking. Bay years so after you See? shipped out, started selling weed. They okay, call they and ask me if I want some. I say shop. No, nope, but if you hit a car, as as I'm concerned, and how they'll stop back, you. Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> yeah. Ain't got any money to begin with. <laughs> Fucking around the side. Aaron was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the high-low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah, all right. Yep, that's right. I can park. I can barely do that in real life. I'm going through the front. I ain't having your wall here. I ask you the back door. All right, gonna take the slow walk. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Boy, I send you to bring Lincoln Clay home. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always <laughs> did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realize Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so... so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Remember your father? That's him younger. Nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> now, who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then, one day, a door opens, and you're free to go, just like that. I and didn't know they had cameras back then. You made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door. One way or another. Man, <laughs> whiskey's gonna hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. <laughs> what happened? He got too drunk. No, but why the basement? He chose to sleep in the basement. Now I'm gonna pick this up while I'm at it. Go. There you go. Sorry, we cannot show it to the viewer, so. For Alan's sake, he can see it off stage. What you telling me to do is blur the sh out. No. We don't need no children to see this. I know children are watching this right now. So, no blur. No, they will not <laughs> see it. If they like to see it, they have the internet. Oh, so just cut the sh out. Yeah. But All I won't right. cut it. <laughs> Too lazy. Let's talk to Sammy and Ellis, shall we? We barely have two nickels to rub together, now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ! Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? Not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to. Boy, I'm not eyes. wanting you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? 
We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, truck's all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier families. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know it is. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Gone. Those people waiting on their food. See, for you oh, to well, understand. I saw Langan a couple times once he was first. Oh, back. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot he talks. He told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay and help. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. 